hello friends uh, welcome to our next video and uh, today we are going to solve uh, 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 DC analysis to find a voltage uh, between given points okay so as you see uh, the question says determine the potential difference uh, VAB for the given network shown okay so this is the network and we have to find the potential difference between the two points that is here A and B okay so before uh, going to the problem uh, let me tell you this problem is taken from uh, Ravi Singh book okay uh, it is a good book to refer for a basic electrical okay uh, so let's concentrate uh, on the diagram which is shown here okay you can see uh, there is a uh, three points a b and c okay and they are connected by lines okay so if I uh, ask you to count the number of balls between A and B, what will be your answer? That is 3. You can clearly see from A to B, going from A to B, there is 3 balls. Okay. If I ask you to count the balls between A and C, the answer is 1. Okay. We can clearly see while going from A to C, there is only a 1 ball. Okay. And if you, if I ask you to count the balls between B and C, so there is four balls. Okay, you can see this is three and that is four. So between B and C, there is four balls. What is important, whenever I ask you to find the number of balls between two points, you follow certain path between that point. Okay. Similarly, whenever you ask to find a voltage across any two point, you have to follow certain path. In this, just mark the path which you need to follow to find the voltage between two points. Okay, you can see the path is this, that is from B to this point, then going to this point and then going to A. So this is the path we need to follow to find the voltage between A and B. Okay, so if I add all the voltages like in our ball problem, uh, what you do, we add all the number of balls that is one ball plus two ball plus three and we get the answer three. Similarly, if I want to find the voltage between point A and B, what I will do, I will imply the same logic, I will find the voltage across this resistor that is 2 ohm resistor voltage across 5 ohm resistor and the voltage across 10 ohm resistor should I need to calculate the voltage across 10 ohm resistor here one basic note should I need to calculate the voltage across 10 ohm resistor the answer is no because this branch uh, this this branch let me uh, take it by a red mark this branch over here already have the voltage source that is of 8 volt so I don't need to uh, calculate uh, another voltage source uh, 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 sorry voltage for the branch it has already a voltage source of 8 volts okay so uh, keeping mind uh, keeping this all in mind let's begin with our problem okay <coughs> so here's the circuit which is given to us and we know the path is this which we need to follow to find a voltage between a and B okay so to find the voltage uh, 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 voltage drop across 2 ohm resistor I need to first find the current in this loop that is I1 okay uh, to find the voltage drop across the 5 ohm resistor I need to find the color current in this loop you can see we actually don't need to find the current in the second loop because the current in the second loop is already given that is 2 ampere so we need not to find the current in a second loop we just need to find the current in a first loop so finding I1 in loop 1 okay so let me redraw the loop this is 3 ohm this is 5 volt and this is 2 and here a short circuited is uh, provided to us this is 3 ohm this is 2 ohm this is 5 volt battery source and I need to find this 
current that is I1. Okay, you can see that this short circuit wire over here is actually shorting up this 3 ohm uh, resistance. So we need not to consider the effect of 3 ohm resistor. Our current will directly travel through this branch and will come down to the 2 ohm resistance. So let me uh, write the current equation that is starting from the battery 5 volt 5 equals to 2 I1. Okay. Is it good? Are you following? So need to find the current I1. So I will divide the 2 that is I1 is equals to 5 by 2 which will give me the value of I1 2.5 amperes. Okay. So the value of I1 is 2.5 ampere. As soon as I follow, uh, as soon as I uh, get the value of uh, I1 that is 2.5 ampere. Okay. Uh, I will I will you know I will note down the voltage across the 2 ohm resistance okay so the voltage across the 2 ohm resistance voltage across 2 ohm is V is equals to resistance that is 2 into 2.5 that is V is equals to 5 volt so the voltage across 2 ohm resistance is 5 volt okay similarly I will also calculate the voltage across the 5 ohm resistance in a second loop that is V is equals to 5 into current that is already given to us that is 2 ampere so 2 so V is equals to 10 volt okay now uh, remember what we have seen that if I want to find a uh, number of balls between the given point I will count up all the balls between that point so you can see over here we have calculated the number of balls between A and B okay that is number of voltage drop between A and B the one thing uh, you need to, now is just the it now just is remain that we need to add all the voltages between point A and B and we will get the answer but we need to follow some rules while adding the voltages and what is the rule let me explain you over here this is my point A okay and uh, my circuit is uh, starting from this point there is a resistance of 2 ohm then it is going up and the voltage source is of uh, let me check how it is placed okay huh. so of 8 volt and it is like this and then we have another resistor okay and it's coming down again of 5 ohm and then this point is B okay so what the rule we need to follow while adding up the voltages let me tell you okay so my current is flowing in this direction in loop 1 and in loop 2 this direction my current is flowing so that this point is positive and this point is negative uh, as my current is entering from up so that point will positive and uh, leaving point is negative uh, in battery this point is negative and this point is positive this is 10 ohm okay uh, which I don't require because I already have a 8 volt source here we have calculated 10 volt uh, of drop and here we calculated 5 volt of drop so we just need to add uh, this all the drops across the resistance and the battery that is V A B the voltage across A B is equals to remember what I want to tell you when you moving from positive terminal to negative terminal here a positive terminal to negative terminal there is a drop in a voltage when you when you move from positive terminal to negative terminal there is a drop 
in voltage okay so there is a drop in a voltage and how we represent a drop in a voltage by negative sign so i will write minus 5 volt are you following me why i write this minus 5 volt because there is a drop because uh, the current is moving from we are moving from a to b okay or you can go from another side you can also move from b to a and you will find there is only the difference of positive and negative sign in the answer while our answer remain the same okay uh, you can either move from a to b or from b to a the answer remain same just uh, in one case you will get a minus and in another case you will get a plus but it doesn't make difference uh, the answer remains same okay so while going from a to b it is a drop in a voltage across 5 ohm positive to negative hence uh, i written over here minus 5 again uh, now we have calculated the voltage across this now we are at the 8 volt battery supply now you can check over here we are moving from negative to positive terminal of the battery okay in this direction we are moving from negative to positive terminal so there is a gain in a voltage hence we will plus Eight. We will write plus eight. Why? Because we are moving from negative to positive terminal uh, terminal of the battery. Now coming at this point, we are again moving down. That is from positive to negative terminal. Hence, we will subtract the ten volt uh, drop. Okay. Uh, now uh, we just need to add. That is A B B A B is minus fifteen plus eight is minus seven volt. Okay, so we got the answer that is voltage drop drop across AB is minus seven volt volt. Okay, if you go from positive uh, sorry if you go from another side that is B to A, you will find the answer is just a positive plus seven volt that is from B to A while going from B to A. So it doesn't change the answer uh, in which direction you move. The answer remains same, just you will encounter a positive or negative sign. Thank you for listening.